Hello, welcome to Electronics Education. I'm Vincent Chan. So today we are going to continue our learning around the so-called Toe Thomas Biquadratic Filter. Toe Thomas Biquadratic Filters, Part 3, Hand Analysis and uh, Simulation. I'm going to uh, present two types of Toe Thomas Biquadratic Filter. And then one, the first one, we're going to do the hand analysis. The other one, we're going to do the simulation. And also, hopefully, we can do the reconciliation between the hand analysis and the simulation. So this is the first one. The output is right now taken from the output of the first integrator. The first integrator not only serve the integration, but also serve the addition, the function of addition. And then, so, uh, and then the, the, what's the, the function of this one? What kind of function this kind of filter provides? Band pass, right? This is the band pass function. So it's the band pass function, but what about the transfer function? Can you get the transfer function? How are we going to get the transfer function? Of course, you can have your own analysis. You can try your own way. Um, but if you don't have a better way, maybe you can try mine. My, is, my way is like this. You start with the upper voltage, and you just go around one circle. So go around just one cycle, okay? So then the step number two, you get the output of the second integrator which is this, just times the transfer function of the Miller integrator. And then step three, you get the output of the inverter, like this. You take out the negative sign. And then four, what's the step four? The current going through R4, because the virtual ground, right? The virtual ground at the inverting of the first half hand, so this is the four, current four. And current five, step five, is also VO, virtual ground, divided by R5. And then six, and four plus five plus six equals seven. You simply apply a very low level Ohm's law, very simple Ohm's law upon the feedback capacitor, capacitor, C1. So I sum, the sum current is the four, let's double check, plus five, V over R5, plus six, VI over R6. And I said, uh, you apply Ohm's law, four, five, six. So you apply Ohm's law upon the feedback capacitor. So which tells you the VO is virtual ground minus the current times the impedance. That's it. So you find out the equation, there are three upper voltage, VO, 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 and one VI. So we bring the two VO turn from right to the left and you divide. You restructure and then you get this outcome. For sure, it's supposed to be a band pass. For sure, it's a band pass. And you can also just bring up the standard form and do the equate the coefficient. And it tells you who decides the center frequency omega zero, and who decide which guy decides the three decibel bandwidth. Remember, the three decibel bandwidth is the omega zero over Q, right? So in this case, it will be decided by the one over R phi C one. And then, 
One is the, 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 the three decibel bandwidth, but the other one is the center frequency gain. So center frequency gain is the ratio of the first order coefficient on the top divided by the first order term coefficient on the bottom. So it's the five divided by six, right? The ratio of these two red highlight, the ratio of these two red highlight. If you are struggling in following me, then let me pause. You can pause. Just, I said center frequency gain. That's the title. So you replace omega with omega zero. And you will find out S square and omega zero square got canceled out. So the first order coefficient ratio tells you at that frequency what kind of gain is going to be. That's the answer. Negative five over six. So this is the end of the first example. Now let's move on to the second one. Now the VO is changed and I also give you some value. So I'm going to do the simulation for this filter. And then, but first of all, I want to ask you, before you conduct the simulation, I also encourage you to do this by yourself, to simulate this circuit by yourself. So transfer function, what's the transfer function? You know, simulation is easy. So before you simulate the circuit, I want you to pause for five minutes. Try to derive the transfer function for this total Thomas biquadratic low pass filter. Just take a screenshot. Take a screenshot. And then Try to derive the low pass transfer function. Let's start with the five minutes hand analysis first, and I will show you the simulation outcome afterwards. Let's pause. So it shouldn't be hard, right? It shouldn't be hard. That's the answer. The low pass. That's the low pass hand analysis outcome. So the process is going to be very similar to the one I show you in the previous slide through the bandpass version. So now here's, I'm going to show you some of the simulation outcome, the frequency response, right? This is the, let's look at this again. This is the low pass. So the low frequency gain is K0. So it's at low frequency, the gain it should be a constant. The low frequency gain. Now it shows the 20 decibel. 20 decibel. And then when you increase the frequency, when you increase the frequency, because it's the low, because it's the low pass. And then what? When you increase the frequency, the gain start to decay, like this way. But this green curve is associated with the Q factor of two. But if you change the Q factor, remember, the first order coefficient in the denominator is the Q over omega zero. So once the omega zero is identified, so if you change the value of Q, change the value of Q, change the resistance value, then you can change the quality factor, and therefore, the response will be changed, like this. But sometimes when you have a very high Q, it becomes like, like what? Like this, kind of overshoot. So low pass at this 
100 kilohertz frequency, it becomes a bandpass. Low pass turns into a bandpass, and we analyzed this before. I talked about this, the effect of quality factor on the magnitude response of the low pass before, and based on this result can be explained by this result. So remember, so what's the line of peak and no peak? What's the line? 0.707 If you solve the one, if you forget this one, one minus one over the one that inside the square root equals zero, then you can get the Q equals 0 0.707 So that's uh, the maximum frequency value And now if you pay attention to the the gain, the 20, can you explain this? Why 20 decibel? So I want you to reconcile the simulation outcome of the DC gain with the hand analysis result. Again, I want you to reconcile, you can pause to do this, but uh, I think I'm gonna just gonna, gonna move forward. Okay, so you can pause to think about this. So why is this 20 decibel? If you bring back the circuit, to bring back the circuit, so who decide the DC gain? Which guy decide the DC gain? Four and six, right? R4 and R6. Let me explain. This is the low pass transfer function. So at the low frequency, the S square and the S term are negligible at low, very low frequency. So omega zero square got canceled out. Second order, first order term are negligible. So the ratio of these two constant is actually K0, which represent the low frequency gain. So the answer, R4 divided by R6. R4 divided by R6. So one kilo ohm divided by 100 ohm is 10. 10 is 20 decibel, all right? So the major takeaway of this lecture we're doing a hand analysis for this Toe Thomas bicodrotic bandpass filter. The three decibel bandwidth is one over R phi C1. The center frequency gain is negative R phi divided by R6. And as for this second, second uh, to, to Thomas bicodrotic low pass, we do the simulation and also part of the time we spend on the reconciliation between the simulation outcome and the hand analysis. So you are supposed to do all the detail for this hand analysis result to reconcile this hand analysis result with the simulation if you are interested. So this is the end of the lecture. In the next lecture video, I'm going to teach you another type of filter called switch capacitor filter, which is totally different from the active RC filter. I look forward to seeing you in the next lecture video. Thanks for watching.